the Swindon Rangers story, that's the first half, was hardly what you'd call a thriller. Not even a who done it. More like a who done what. It was slow going. Trevor Sinclair of Rangers showed a few flashes. Neither side had what you'd call a clear chance. This was the closest Rangers got to a goal as Dicchio went for the kill. And this was the closest Town got. Certainly nothing to write home about. Steve McMahon was following the plot from the dugout and like everyone else in the county ground couldn't wait to turn the page to the second half. Thankfully it got better, the pace picked up and Swindon came to life. The first man to make a mark was Wayne Allison. But where was the hero? Mark Walters perhaps, he was looking good. Or how about Steve Coe, robbed by the brilliant Jürgen Sommer? 16 minutes in, it turned into the tales of the unexpected as Mark Walters conjured up a goal from nothing, from nowhere. Joy for Swindon. A problem for Houston on his first night as manager. Rangers could have sat back, 1-0 away isn't too bad, but no, they wanted to write their own headlines. And they were back in it with just over 10 minutes to go as Daniel Dicchio raced through to score. Then came the twist, the punchline, and it was Swindon, sadly, who got hit. Rangers ripped them to pieces. Andrew Impey made it 2-1. What about Swindon? Here's their man of the match, Mark Walters. Good goal, bad result. Yeah, um, lads were really disappointed. We thought we'd done enough uh, to get a result tonight. We played reasonably well, and uh, I thought we, was, we definitely edged them for, for performance-wise. But unfortunately, two lapses of comp concentration and let them in for a two-one win. But you know, the tie's not over yet. But uh, you know, we still think we've got a chance. You got that first strike, though, didn't you? Yes, yes, yeah. That was, that was pleasing. Yeah, we got the goal, first goal, and I, was, I thought we'd uh, go on from that. But unfortunately, we had a, a little, um, as I can say, little lapse towards the end there and uh, unfortunately they scored twice in, in quick succession. So what can you do next week to win it? Well if we can play the similar similar t as tonight then we've got a chance. I mean obviously uh, you can't uh, afford to any kind of lapses of concentration because they have some good front players and they'll punish us as they did tonight so if you can uh, you know eliminate that then uh, you've definitely got another chance.